Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to make this uh, great little kind of maths game in numbers where um, kind of older primary kids can make it, make it for younger kids. So I've got a little question. Let's see how we made it. So basically, you tap on this cell. They've got to guess the prime number. When it's not the correct answer, it stays red. Uh, when it is the correct answer, which is 17, it goes green. So how do we make it? Well, let's get rid of all the kind of extras. So I've got a, an iPad kind of PNG I'll get rid of, and I've got my little line here that I hand drew in Keynote. We'll get rid of it as well. And so basically I've got uh, two cells. I've actually merged a couple of cells, so they're a little bit bigger. I've got the one with the text in it, and I've got the one with the number in it. So the main one is we're just gonna have a look at this number cell and see how we can actually get this working. If I press that cell and then press the paintbrush at the top, you'll see down the bottom, I've got some conditional highlighting that I can actually create some rules and I've created two rules there. So I'm gonna delete those and show you how I actually did it. So you just click on the cell itself, go up to the paintbrush and you say conditional highlighting. And then we're gonna say, well, if it's equal to 17, which is kind of the correct answer, we want that cell to go a certain color. So we'll go make it go green. And then we want to create another rule. So we'll do the same thing underneath it. When it's not 17, we actually would like it to be to kind of stay red. And you could use a range of different colors. You could get colder and hotter as they get closer to it and a whole range of different things. Create multiple rules. And so that's basically it. So now when I go off that number, it goes to 65. It's all red until I get to 17, gives the, the user some feedback. Now, when I tap on the cell and I go to format, can you see how it's on slider? If I change that to stepper, you'll see that when I tap on the cell, I've got a little stepper up and down arrows. So kids can start to think about the user, the UI and, and how functional is for young kids. You might want them to actually just type in the number instead um, is another way of doing it. And that's just by tapping on the cell and going to format. Um, so as you can see, really easy way to quickly whip up, bring in some of your pictures, start to think about UI design, uh, where everything might go, um, what the size should be like, should it be landscape, should it be portrait, you could bring in some digital technologies curriculum aspects there as well. But it's just a great way to get kids looking at cells and formulas and spreadsheets and if then statements and conditional statements. Um, to create something that's fun for um, maybe a different user, something that they're doing in mathematics that they want to consolidate that area in. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.